All right, this camera's rolling right here. Will y'all give a shout out? Shalom, the bonds and apostles of GMS, and uh, uh, all praise and glory to, oh, I forgot the first one, all praise and glory to Yahweh, Bush, and Yahshai, the bonds and apostles of GMS, and shalom to the brothers out there that are doing his work faithfully and uh, sincerely. You got it. Yeah, go ahead. Romans, uh, I ain't gonna be long, I'm, I'm gonna get this for It's uh, Ceasing the suffering of others. Is that true? Yes. Give so, so, so give me a, a Buddhist teaching. So all you do is just be compassionate to people, that's it? Um, well, first you have to understand that the three poisons of the mind are desire, uh, ignorance, and hatred. Oh, so hatred is bad? Yes. Of course. But it's not bad for other people. It hurts you. If you hate somebody, you're hurting yourself. Then, being, uh, I have to catch this bus, but I love you guys. Safe journey. Get up, Buddha. Rome is 12 and 8. Oh, he that exalted in exhortion, he that gives him, let him do it with simplicity. He that rules with. Diligence, he that shows mercy with cheerfulness. Let love be without this this dissimulation. This well, it's good to be like it's like fate, right? Yeah. The Lord that which is evil, cleave to which is good. Be kindly, affectionate, one to another with brotherly love and honor, preferring. Brief, preferring, preferring one another. That's that's uh. He said it. He said be kindly affectionate one to another with brotherly love. How are we doing that? What are we doing right now on the uh, streets, teaching the word, uh, doing the uh, make our diligence, making three videos a week, so we can uh. Cause like when you do videos, you can't you don't just do it just because you know just because oh we gotta do three videos. You know you gotta do it. Yeah, you gotta do it sincerely, and you like oh man, I, I gotta edify the elect. You gotta wake up the elect. Fuck out of here, you know what I'm saying? Cause uh, like Yao Shah, he uh, constantly pushed out that brotherly love. Are we supposed to do? And it's truth. Let's love one another. That's uh, the greatest commitment. Uh, well, I got it right here. Get ready for you, real quick. Uh, all right, uh, this is uh, Matthew 22 and uh, 30, uh, 35. Then one of them, which was a lawyer, meaning an expert in the law. Having asked him a question, tempting him, saying, Master, which is the great commandment in the law? Yahweh Shai said unto them, Thou shalt love the Lord thy God with all thy heart, with all thy soul, with all thy mind. This is the first and great commandment. And the second is like unto it. Thou shalt love thy neighbor as thyself. On these two commandments hang all the law and the prophets. Yeah, yeah. Now go ahead, yeah. I mean, that's your neighbor's your brother, you know what I mean? Second John 1 and 6, and this is love, that we walk after his commandments. That is the commandment that you have heard from the beginning, that you should walk in it. Oh. 
That's, that's what, like the brother was saying, that's what love is, man. This is the love for the, uh, Yahweh Hashem, Yahweh Hashem. And not, a, not only for them, but for our people too, Israel. This is love that we coming out here and we doing this. The churches, there ain't no love in these churches. Ain't no love in these churches because they're actually holding our people back from the knowledge. They just like the scribes uh, scribe and the Pharisees back in the day. These churches did. There's no love out here. This is love that we come out here and y'all teach hate. <laughs> like, that's how they be doing. Yeah, yeah, that's love to teach hate. That's what the fucking sense of balance. Yeah. We ain't no out here being like these other wicked ass Israelite camps. Feel me? We out here trying to wake well, we're trying to wake the elect up. Can't say we're gonna wake our people up, but we're trying to wake our the elect up. But at the end of the day, all Israel gonna be saved though. But they gotta be destroyed. But like you said, man, that's why we out here. This is brotherly love right here. This is the brotherhood right here. This is Yahweh Shah out here right now. Let me read the scriptures quick. Can I show y'all something? Uh, Sirach 25 and 7. There be nine things which I have judged in my heart to be happy. And the tenth I will utter with my tongue. A man that have joy of his children, and he that liveth to see the fall of his fucking enemies. I don't know why I have that fucking enemy. You know? Hey, the Lord, the Lord, but, that's the spirit of the Lord. Right, but that was my point. That's that love, man. You teach your pink people, you got a fucking enemy, man. Yeah. You know? And to wake your people up, to elect up to, you know, your enemy. How what? to recognize your enemy. What he's doing, his clever acts and shit. They say love your enemy, dog. <laughs> right, love your fucking enemy. <laughs> what did that clown say? That Buddhism bullshit, man? Not the green. That's that pacifying shit. That's a pacifying shit. It's like, it's like, you have a friend, whatever, you a favorite girl, that, that bitch a whore and shit, and he's like, you know, he all uh, memorized by her and shit like that, he's all liking her. And you, you know, you his friend, so you, gonna, you like him, you know, you love him, so you can be like, hey, brother, look, this is the girl, she a hoe, this is how she, she, she get down, you gonna try to warn him yeah. that he got an enemy, and you know, that's what we're doing right now. If you love your enemy, you, you see what happened? They gonna kill your ass, put you on a chain. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we supposed to trust our enemy, though. We supposed to trust the motherfucker that did that, though. <laughs> Romans 10 and 10. I mean, Romans 12 and 10. Romans 12 and 10. Be kindly, affectionate, one another with brotherly love and honor preferring one another. Not slothful in business, favorite in spirit, serving the Lord. It's not slothful in business, so... Like the apostle just brought out that order. Three videos a week, you gotta meet up one, once a week, you know what I'm saying? Because he what? He wants to, uh, what's it called, hasten the day. You gotta uh, not be lazy in this truth. You gotta, you gotta do work. I say, uh, uh, like the word, uh, the word uh, wait means, I mean, it means like serve and also means to watch. You know what I'm saying? So while you're waiting on the Lord, you gotta do the work. How to do the work? Uh, doing videos, teaching people, you know what I'm saying? Teaching them what you can. Oh, yeah, like wait table. I thought about that one. It's just like Dragon Ball Z, man. You gotta, you gotta, you gotta train to go to a higher level. So if you can stay in the same place, you ain't gonna level up. If that's all you know is uh, that the white man's a devil, it's more to the scriptures than just the white man's a devil. We all know that. That's what that's what it is. But that's more to the shit. Though. You just can't teach every week the white man's a devil. So you gonna have somebody walk up to you and ask you don't know shit. Uh, distributing to the necessary saints given to hospitality. Bless them which prosecute you, bless and curse not. Rejoice with them that do rejoice, and weep with them that weep. And that's what we're doing. We weep. I, I rejoice with my brotherhood. This is the brothers right here, man. This is the brothers right here. We, I rejoice with them. I don't rejoice with my family. Cause we ain't got nothing in the common. You know, Yahweh Shah said, who's my mother and who's my brother? The ones that, uh, that do the work of the most high. So we, we, they weep. My family don't weep for none of this shit. <laughs> they looking forward to Christmas. <laughs> I'm sure y'all all got Texas and calls. Uh, happy Thanksgiving and shit. Then they mad at you. And then they so evil, wicked, they know you don't celebrate Thanksgiving, but they call you and say, Happy Thanksgiving. It's the picture. 
and they and then they get pissed off because you don't say it back. That's so evil and wicked. That's evil and wicked, man. Luke 21, 34. And take heed to yourselves. He said, any time your hearts be overcharged with suffering and drunkenness and cares of this life, you know, thank every Thanksgiving, you know, because you know, you know, you, you love certain your family, like your mother, your father, whatever. You might have children, you might love them, but you gotta, you gotta put the Lord first. You can't, you can't, uh, you can't uh, put your desire, your flesh, your lust before the Lord. You gotta do the work. You know what I'm saying? It says, it says, in cares of this life, you gotta, uh, uh, you gotta forsake the Lord. You gotta, I, I switched on you forsake the life. Uh, it says, and so that day come upon you unawares, for as a snare shall shall come on all them that dwell on the face of the whole earth. Like if it's a snare, a trap, a sudden trap too. You don't see that motherfucker. Some traps be uh, camouflaged, you know. Just like this world, man. This godly world, man. It's camouflaged. It's, it feels like pleasure on the surface, but. Okay. Oh, that's the spirit. He asked me for a scripture, and I was like, it was right there. But I promise you, I'm not making this up. Uh, Luke, Luke 4 and, uh, man. Hey, let me read all this. I'm going to read all this so it makes sense. I'll oh, go ahead, go ahead. It says, verse, verse uh, 36, Watch ye therefore and pray always. That you may be accounted worthy to escape all these things that shall come to pass and stand before the Son of Man. He said, watch, how you watch? Uh, looking at the news, looking at what's going on in the world. He says, pray always. The scripture said, pray without season. So you be able to escape all the, uh, the bad things that's coming to the world, like martial law and all this stuff. Yes, sir. There you go. <laughs> well, this goes, this is a precept for it, what y'all talking about. Uh, I'll go through it. Uh, Luke 4 and 16 and he came to Nazareth where he had been brought up as his custom was and he went to the synagogue on the Sabbath day and stood up to read and there was delivered on him the book of uh, the prophet Isaiah and when he opened the book he found a place where it was written the spirit of the Lord is upon me because he hath anointed me to preach the gospel to the poor he has sent me to heal the broken hearted and when y'all read the scripture, it says something like that. About uh, weep with us. You know, you, 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 you know what I mean? So that's what we out here for this. So we, we poor, we broke our heart, right? So we looking for the same. He had uh, sent me to heal the broken hearted, to preach deliverance to, to the captives, and recovering of the sight to the blind, to set at liberty them that are bruised, to preach the acceptable year of the Lord. And he closed the book and he gave it to the minister and sat down and the eyes of all them that were in the synagogue were fastened on him. And he began to say unto them, this day, this scripture is fulfilled in your ears. And all bear witness and wonder to the gracious words which proceeded out of his mouth. And they said, is this not Joseph's son? And he said unto them, ye will surely say unto me this proverb, physician, heal thyself. Whatsoever we have done in Capernaum, do also here in thy country. And he said, Verily I say unto you, no prophet is accepted in his own country. I mean, that, just a precept you said. Like you said, cause you, like your brother was saying, uh, your family is your main enemy. So like, the hardest people to teach is the people in your own neighborhood. The people that you grew up with. You know what I mean? Brother, yeah, brother, that's the worst. That your immediate family, that's the hardest to teach. Yeah, I'm sure his whole family went in the Yeah, yeah. His whole family, his brothers and sisters. I mean, yeah, just two brothers and two sisters. That's all right. Yeah, because yeah. yeah, it, tell, it tells you all the names of the brothers. Right. Go ahead, go ahead. Go ahead. It's uh, Luke 69 and 8. It says, I became, a, it's like I become a stranger unto my brethren and an alien unto my mother's children. Says, uh, it again. It says, I became a stranger to my brethren. Like, you know, people looking at us like, we, you know, they, they, like they don't know us no more because we get his word and shit like that. Now, I mean, when you come in word, you start teaching people like your old friends, whatever, then you start growing that hate towards them and shit because you start seeing their demons start coming out and shit. So you start, you, you start, uh, you're going to separate yourself from them and then they're going to they start hating you. They're going to start hating them. They're going to have that friction. You know what I'm saying? Here it is, but.
a church go, uh, church going type of guy. Everybody like you. Everybody accepts you in. Oh, he's a God fearing man or that. But when you start talking this word, this real truth, you're a devil. <laughs> you're a deacon. 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 You're a
But it was a bunch of theories, and other people say he died of a, uh, acute constipation or something. He had like 25 pounds of pork, more than that, stuffed up That's in him. I believed that before the conspiracy. Or the feces. Yeah, because he was looking. Like feces. You see how bloated he looked before he died? Fat fuck. Fat fuck. The Israelite. Full of feces, full of shit. Oh, uh, that you was know, impressive. Being, you, you, your shit backed up in you, man. It become um, actual toxic. Yeah. It should become toxic. <laughs> toxic. You see what happens if you got a turd just laying in the toilet? That's gross, but oh. how, but how what it does to the water it turns the whole water brown. So, so if you got it in your body, it's turning. It's going. It's going all through your body. You know what I mean? So that's why you gotta watch what you eat, man. I'll go ahead. You get. Oh, no, no, I got some. You, you gotta. You keep Jeremiah five and one. Run ye to and fro through the streets of Jerusalem and see now and know and seek in the world places thereof. If you can find it, man, if there be any that execute judgment, that seeketh the truth, and I will pardon you. And though they say the Lord liveth, surely they swear falsely. O Lord, are not thine eyes upon the truth? Thou hast stricken them, but they have not grieved. Thou hast consumed them, but they have refused to receive correction. They have made their faces harder than a rock. They have refused to return. Like we're teaching these motherfuckers, they refuse to work. Family. And you return know? to what, though? Return to what? Back to this. To the covenant. the covenant. It's the covenant. The Lord made a covenant with the children of Israel. Only. He only made that covenant with Israel. All the covenants, the old covenant and the new covenant. So, so we signed a contract with the Most High. So if you, uh, if you break that contract, you got hell to pay. There's curses. And that's why we under the curses right now, because we broke the contract. People are so dumb. You read the last book of the... Uh, 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 Malachi. Malachi, the last of uh, the Old Testament. What was the whole purpose of Yahweh Shah coming? Save his people to bring back the ungodliness back to the Father, you feel me? He did say the whole world. That's the whole reason why Yahweh Shah came, was to bring these people back to the Most High, man. I got it for you. I got a preach something. Matthew 1 and 21. And he shall bring forth a son, and thou shalt call his name Yahweh Shai, for he shall save his people from their sins. His people. It didn't say the whole world. And that goes back to that brotherly love y'all was talking about, too. You know what I mean? Because yeah, he said there's no greater love than the man uh, to lay down his life for his friend. Yeah. Even though he's our Lord, he's the King of Kings, but he, he still said he, he's our friend. These churches ain't laying down their life for you, man. <laughs> for sure they ain't. We out here, the, the real Israelites is out here. Not the fake ass Israelites, the real Israelites, because I was just talking to them Israels. They, they, they make a, uh, they make a Israelite believe he a fucking Edomite, but in the spirit, they probably like, man, fuck them motherfuckers, but they didn't tell you, they go off, man. Oh, you white, you a uh, Edomite. That ain't no brotherly love, so therefore you just, you, you, you just like the white man, basically. Same as the white man. That's what a white man does. Yeah. He says, oh, you dark skin, you know, and then you ain't nothing. Is that Jim Crow? That's yeah, Jim Crow. yeah, Jim Crow law. Yeah, Jim Crow. So you just separating. Oh, if you dark, you're an Israelite. If you white, you're going into slavery. You're the white man. That is the white man. The way white. I never looked at it that way. That is how the white man does it. They trying to say Who said that? They had posted a, a video of the white girl. Young white girl singing the song. And I'm like, they like, he's a fucking packer. What makes him a packer? We can't answer. Maybe about all this. Eminem did fall off, though. Yeah. Man, he had Jake, though. He had Jake. Yeah, all Israel fall off. That fucking Jay Z, he's fucking the most wicked of all Israel. Mm -hmm. he, 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 he might not. He, I don't know what. Most High got something good for him. Something good for him. And you other Israelite uh, fake ass kids and the most high got destruction. Yeah, Jay Z's a five percenter. Is he? He's a five percenter. Yeah, well, he really. But that's. Them five yeah, percenters yeah. are warlocks. That is some witchcraft them dudes is into. Yeah, that thing. He rapped that song. He's hitting scriptures. He never read the Bible. He said, I never read the Bible, but he, he, he quoted a scripture or something. He was channeling spirits. The spirits was jumping on him in the studio. That's why he had that song, Lucifer, Lucifer Son of the Morning. Yeah, 
And really, Lucifer, oh, okay. and really, Lucifer going into Esau. So he really like giving praise to Esau. But Lucifer is not Satan. Lucifer is the so-called white man, the devil. Go ahead. Verse three: O Lord, are not thine eyes upon the truth? Thou hast stricken them, but they have not grieved. Thou hast consumed them, but they have refused to receive correction. They have made their faces harder than a rock. They have refused to return. Therefore, I said. Surely these are poor, they are foolish, but they know not the way of the Most High, nor the judgment of the proud. I will get me unto a great man and speak unto them, for they have known the way of the Lord and the judgments of the Most High. But these have altogether broken the yoke and burst the bond. Wherefore a lion out of the forest shall slay them, and a wolf of the evenings shall spoil them. A leper shall watch over their cities. Every one that goeth out thence shall be torn in pieces, because their transgressions are many and their backslidings are increased. Man, that's what you see, a leper. You know, William Alexander was likened to a leopard, wasn't he? Alexander, he's Edomite. Because a leper, uh, that's, that's one of the meanest cats of the world. But what's that part that said uh, that you...